Hello guys, so in the previous lesson we had some issues with the normal map. There's some issue with the normal map. Like let me just redo that. So I kind of bake my normal map for this piece. Let me use, use this as an example. So I went to Z plugin and I went to multi-map exporter. Now the issue that the issue I had was that I forgot to turn on under my normal map I'm supposed to turn on tangent space because I'm supposed to use my tangent, tangent space not word space normal map so and that's why it was giving me some really weird results so let me show you guys the ish, the result is giving us so I'll just do a quick bake on this I'll bake this at 2k resolution then I'll click on create map then I'll just drop this somewhere let me drop it outside here. I'll click on save. Now it should calculate and then you see the issues we're having it with. Hey, uh, did I? I think. Did I turn off my. Let me delete this. Let me do this again. So under the plugin. Yes, this needs to be turned off. The issue I had before was I didn't turn this off. So the issue we had before was something like this. Let me create maps again. I'll create the maps again. I'll drop it here. Now I'll show you guys the issue we will be having on this. Okay. So if I should open open this up, open this in here. So the issue we're having is this, and this is definitely not what we're going to be working with. It does not look this does not look like a normal map we can work with. And then as you can see, there's some there's some artifacts on this on the interception of the mesh. Now we definitely can't work with this. Now if we were to let me delete this, delete this. Now, if we were to do this correctly by going to Z plugin and do a normal map export and click on tangents, exporting at, at subdivision 5, and I'll do create all maps again. I'll save this. Now, this should have the correct um, color um, space to work with, correct color space to work with. If I go back in here and view this. No, I use the wrong one. I'll go back here and view this. Now, even even at this, I still can't use this because there's some weird artifacts on this also that will cost me a lot of time to start fixing in in Photoshop. So I'm I'm not I'm not going to use this. I'm definitely not going to use this. So a, a better way a better way to go around doing this is to. Export this out for texturing in my order for baking in in, in Mamoset Two Bag. So how do I go about doing this? So now in now I noticed that there's an issue with this my UVs here. The, there's an issue with, the, with with this UV in here. There's an issue with this. And then in the last tutorial, I combined I combined I combine this sub this sub two this sub two and this sub two into one single sub two but still maintaining my but still maintaining my UVs. Let me show you how I did that. So if you go to merge, then you turn on turn on your UVs. Why right? after turning on turn on your, your UVs on each separate sub two these three one two three and then you can also select the top one and begin to merge them. So make sure this UV is turned on on every single sub two you want to merge into one sub two. So that's all. And then I had this on my level five. So then I, I then I, I did an I did an export on this. But before you do an export, you go to export setting and turn off group. Turn off group because if it, if you leave that on, you're going to be having various pieces of your exported mesh everywhere. So I don't want that. So I'll turn off group and then. Went to the subdiv level five and did an OBJ export. I did an OBJ export. So I already, I already, I've already exported every single piece I need in here. So 
that particular piece is this one here so i've exported the high subdiv level and i've exported the, the low subdiv level so my low subdiv level was around was around two so my low subdiv level was around two so i exported two as my loop subdiv level and then for this piece hold on select select this piece for this piece there's, there's an issue with the UVs on the on this piece. There's an issue with the UVs on this piece. So let me show you. If I go to my if I go to my UV map, click on morph. Now you can see there's an issue in here. If I click on move, there's an issue in there. It's not supposed to have this UV F to frame in, into this. Not as well. It's not supposed to have that single UV, but no worries, you can fix that back in back in um, Maya. So, but one thing I did here was that I split it. If I shift F on this, you notice that I have two separate poly groups, this and this. So I kind of split that. So I went to my sub to I went to split. I click click on group splits on this group splits. And then I did my export also. But before you, before you do your export, make sure you go to export and turn off group. Select this. Select this. Okay. Select this. Export turn off group. And then I simply exported the high of this and the high of this and then the low of this and the low of this. My low was around subdiv level 2. For the both of them that's where i exported my low version from so if i go to where i've done my exports i have all of this in here so i have all of this in here for the for the clothes for the undo this undo i have the high i have the high okay i've not i've not exported that my low i've not exported that my low for the the loop 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 sub -deep level for this my handle but i've done that for the pointer which is this so let me quickly do that now so on sub level two i'll go to making sure my export is turned off my group on the group this group is turned off on my exports i can go to exports where's my okay I can go to exports then i would click on undo high and I rename this to low, low. And I do an export for this. So I believe my export is done. I go back in here. I should have that now. Yes, it's in here now, which is fine. So now I need to. I'm going to close this. Save no. Close this. Then I open up Maya and begin to fix some of the issues I'm having in here. Uh, so opening up Maya, okay, guys, back in here. This is Maya, so we can begin to bring in. I, I have, I have no, I have no issues with this cloth low. The only issue I have in here is this my Andrew low and pointer low. So I'll select this pointer low. Undo low and cloth low. I'll drag this in here. Drag this in here. Okay. Let's see if that has loaded up. Yeah, it does. But I cannot find my. Let me drag this undo low in here. Okay then my pointer low drag this in here okay that's fine so if i should select select this and this guy go to my modeling and uv editing now i'm seeing an issue in here delete on this and go to object mode 
select this object seems to be an issue on my UV okay okay let me zoom in properly into this now I have this where it's supposed to be this is fine I'll leave this as it is now for this for these guys I need to UV unwrap this so I'll do a quick save on this do a quick save on this and then correct this let me name this knife 01 prep prep do a quick save on this and then we can start unwrapping this once more so let's fix this so let me start with this guy I would I do I should select on this uh, assign favorite material Lambert UV kit select this face mode select all this face let all this face now do let me open create transform create transform cuts unfold okay that's fine and then I will do a base plane do best plane on this drag the selection around this and hit enter and that should calculate nicely okay so now I can go to my I can go to edge mode I would go somewhere around here double click somewhere around here also and click in here also ok I have that there so I have Let me deselect this and find this edge loop. Hold shift, double click on this. And I should have something that goes across down here also. Yes, I do. Now do a cut. Select all this. I'll do an unfold. And I can I can better arrange this okay yeah, this guy needs to select this or do a quote select all this done on food You just move this out like so and do let me find let me find that edge in here do something here also Do a cut like this to unfold, drag this out. I'll do an orient on this orient shell. Now, I have, this is for this. Let's see. 
this is for this select this to I'll do an orange shell drag this here select this to do an orange shell and put this like so select this to this and this I'll do I'll go to my rotate I'll rotate this this way so I have this let me select all of this and do layout on this so that should pack this in here then this guys I'll do a straighten shell Okay, straighten UVs on this. So this is rolling up. And I think I did not save. Do a copy of this. Okay, it's almost done. It's almost done. And you know, because of my poly count, that's why this is taking longer than it should. So that's cool. I'm done with that. I'll do a quick save on this. Now there seems to be seems to be an issue in here. Let me figure this out. Oh yeah, I need to cut this out of this piece. To cut this out, so I'll do click on this edge. Double click on click on this edge also. So and I'll do a cut, do a cut on those. I'll go to UV, select those, select those, select this. My move to I'll drag this out, drag this out. Now uh, unfold. Run unfold for that. Select them. Uh, let's see. Let me do. Let me save. Save this. And create a backup for this just in case anything wants to go wrong then I will do an I'll do a straight thing let's see uh, straight in shell Okay, that seems to be acting in a very weird way, so I won't, I won't do that. I won't do that. Okay, I want to connect. I want to connect this piece back to where it's supposed to be. Let me check where this is supposed to be. Okay, it's supposed to be in here. So I'll do connect, I'll do move and so yeah do a move and so I'll do something similar in here also I'll 
doing move and so on, then properly cut this. Move and so. Okay. Trying to make this look as good as I can. Move and so. Okay, let me undo that. Let me leave that as it is. Then for this piece, okay, this is this inside piece. Now I have this piece and some measure of this back piece so I can. Going to edge mode. Let me let me cut this around this place. I'll do a cut. Do something similar in here. I'll do a cut. Select this. Move this out. I'll do an unfold. So this, let me see where this guy is. Okay, is this piece? Undo. Which piece is this? Okay, that piece. So we have this and this for the inner. So I'll drag this inner one up here. And select this guy and push this in here. Do a save now. This is fine. Now I can select these guys, we put this here, this here, select this. I'll do an orient shell. You drag this drag this down here select this orange shell flip this like so select this to flip this like so drag this here select this to drag this here okay okay then select this guy put this here Select this, put this here. Select this two. I'll do. Let do an unfold on this two. That's fine. So I'll do a quick save. Okay. So now let's let's get the texture the texture density right on this. Uh. So select. Select this guy. I'll click on get. Select this. I'll click on set. Select this two. I'll click on set. Select this two. Click on set. Select this two. Click on set. Select this two. Click on set. Select this three and click on set. So that's fine. Yeah, we can work with this, so this is fine. So let me get this to get this to let me flip this, select this and set this down here, set this up here. That's fine. Select okay, that's fine. I'll do a quick save. Drag this down here. So I can say I'm officially done with this. Checking that there's no overlapping, which is fine. So object mode I'll center pivots, clicking here. Then let's do the same for this piece. 
center pivots clicking here let's see what we can work with in here with this piece uh, face mode select all this face selecting all this face I would click on click on base plane okay, selecting all this face click on base plane screen select all of this and click enter on this Okay. Now I can start by going to edge mode. Okay, object mode. Let me give this Lambert. Go back to UV UV2 kit. Uh, on the on edge mode. Let's do do something like so click on this edge I'll do a cut the cut UV shell select that shell drag this up I'll do an unfold do an unfold on that okay And I would okay. Let me select select this. Do an unfold. Okay. Go to edge mode. So I'm going to be using a different approach for this. I would go around uh so around here now i'll find that okay double click let me see where this goes to Around here, I'll hold control and click this. Drag this all the way here. Hold control and double click. Okay. To Z, hold control and double click. Now my distance is gone. has gone let me, let me use a slightly different approach for this uh, okay maybe I should just leave it the way it is and then just do a cut so I'll do a cut select this to I'll do an unfold I think I missed a few steps. Okay, now I have unfolded this so add this line across. Okay, let me undo this. So let me undo this back to where it was. I think I I lost you guys there for a moment. So on, I was on this piece, so I kind of arranged this in here then selecting these two i have these two in the same uv space so this is this two is selected now i'll do a combine i'll do a combine in here so you can see where my cut is 
then my quotes is, is down here so combine now I need to go, go to okay object mode select all these objects go to edge mode select all these edges let's select all the edges hold shift right click on node and I'll do soft edge on this so now I'll go to object mode select this object okay select all of this center pivot select this object export selection export as OBJ exporting as OBJ I'll do undo Okay, let me maybe I should export this one by one. That should be fine. Uh, export this one by one as it is in my as it is in my okay. Yes, better now. Let's let all of this again. Edge mode. Select all of this. The soft edge. So, I'm, so in my next lesson, I'm going to be exporting this one by one. Like, this is a separate piece. This is a separate piece. This is a separate piece.